Hey everybody, The Rock Studio here. I'm gonna do a really quick video today demonstrating the setup for click and audio in your in-ear monitors. I hope you enjoy. The setup we're gonna to use today, I tried to mimic uh, what a band would be using on stage. First up is a laptop that will be playing the click and audio out through the headphone jack into the console. The type of file I'm using is a stereo file with the click on the right hand side and the audio on the left hand side. And this scenario would work for any sort of live setup, whether you're using an interface with multiple outputs or an iPod with just a headphone output or a phone. Our next device is the console. In this case, it's the Soundcraft B100. It's actually a broadcast console. Our laptop left and right and our microphone are plugged into this console third device we're going to be using today is the MiPro MI808 stereo transmitter with the MI808R stereo receiver. Coming out of the laptop, our stereo signal gets split into left and right outputs. Uh, those go into their own direct box each, and in turn they get plugged into the console. Here's a shot of the inputs of the console. The first input is the microphone, then we've got left and right from the laptop. We're looking at the output of the console now. And our aux sends, one and two, are right here on TRS quarter inch jacks. And we're coming out with the TRS cable into the back of our in-ear monitor system, which is right here. On this one, it's a little strange. The right channel is the mono channel. So I'm going in with the TRS cable right into the right channel. Now, if you wanted to set up your monitoring system in stereo, by all means, you can. This is an example showing you that even if you want to feed a stereo source with your click on one side the audio on the other, it doesn't need to be stereo in your ears. And we'll learn about that as we go. Now what I'm going to do is set the input levels on the console. Grab my microphone. I turn the channel on. I'm going to press the Q button, which will give me a PFL. Grab the gain knob. Hey, two. Hey, two. Check, check. Yep. Getting a good signal on that one. Turn the Q off. I'm going to hit play on my laptop now. And we can see the click is here on the meters. And I don't know if you can see it. And the audio will be coming up here eventually. It starts off slow with this sample. Okay, now I'll set the levels on the console for the laptop. Press the Q button. This console is really cool because it has a built-in speaker. So I can actually listen to the sample as it's coming in when I'm setting my level. Okay, I'm getting a good level on that. Check the click. This sample has a little bit of the audio on the click channel, which I forgot about. Let's continue working on our setup. What we've got to do is turn up the auxiliary master volumes. Remember on my last video, I showed that they're generally over in this area by the PFL meter. Let's turn them up 75%. That's AUX1 master, AUX2 master. Now what we're gonna do real quick is um, set up our in-ear monitor mix. So I've got the microphone right here. I have my audio and I have my click. And here's my AUX knob one. This console is backwards. So AUX1 is down here, AUX2 is up here. I'm sending out of AUX1 to my monitors. So all you gotta do, uh, make sure your playback device is running. And then you will grab the AUX1 knob and uh, generally it's going to be set to pre-fader. So while I'm listening to my ears, I'll turn these up and get the mix that I want. Here's my vocal, here's my audio, and here's my click. This click also has audio on it. So you can blend those however you'd like. I'll start my playback. And you can see uh, that's just the mix going to the house. But if I press Q, it'll show me what's going into this aux end. And also on this console is really cool because I can also listen to it with the speaker. Now when you send to the PA, you can have a completely different mix. You leave the click all the way down and you can turn up your vocal microphone and your audio. But your click, the fader stays down. Even though it's still going into the console, it's still going in your ears via the, via the aux knob. It's not going into the PA with the fader down. All right, even though I'm plugged into the right channel, which is the mono channel, you can see it's only reading on the right-hand side of the meter, which is fine. Since I've only got it plugged into 
the mono side, it's only going to transmit in mono. So it's not going to be coming just out of one earbud, it'll be coming out of both. But I'll show you the settings on the body pack receiver also. Now I can pot up my vocal microphone also. Actually, I'll turn the click back down, grab my vocal microphone, and I'll talk into it. Hey, two, two, yeah, two, two, hey. Yep, that's my vocal microphone going into the transmitter. Now I'll add the click in there, you'll be able to see it. Here is our body pack receiver. On this one, the power and volume knob is right here, and there's a pan knob here left and right. We're gonna leave that right in the center. We're gonna pop this open, take a look at the settings on the inside. Now, most of your body pack receivers have stuff like this, so just take a look at them, okay? In here, there's a limiter switch. I've got this one in the off position. And mode, mono and stereo. This one is in stereo now. Uh, I'm gonna change that to mono. Since I've got the transmitter working in mono, I can leave that in stereo, it's not gonna make a difference. If you need to order a cable for a setup like this, you can contact me, I'll make one for you, or you can buy something from Full Compass. If you need something custom made, you can always go to redco.com. Links are all in the description. I'm working on a detailed video about the MePro MI808 in-ear monitoring system, and you can order this directly from me uh, via my website, aveeastga.com. Just send me an email or give me a call and I can get you a pretty decent deal on one of these systems. I've taken this on tour with me and I've had it for a couple of years now and I really enjoy it. It sounds great. It works flawlessly. And I think it's a great value when it comes to a monitoring system. It's quick to set up and it's rock solid. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video helped you. I hope it was presented in a way that you can understand. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.